Hello my crafty friends, it's Trinae here and I am jumping on to share what I am making for this week's um, Poet Spice Cricut Silhouette Collab. So as you can see I already have my image cut out and this is a cut file from, um, from B and I think... Um, Oh, what's the name of her channel? I think it's my... I don't, I, I don't want to say it wrong. I will link it. It, it should be uh, through the magic powers of editing. It's on the screen. <laughs> but she offered this cut file free. And I've been um, looking around online. And you'll be surprised like how many free cut files there are um, from other YouTubers. In fact, I used one earlier this week, which was actually supposed to be today's project. Um, was for a um, a pop and twist card. However, I have had the on the um, like technology. I have had the week from hell. <laughs> uh, I completely snapped my memory card in half because I dropped my computer and it was a 128 gig uh, memory card so it held a lot of uh, files and it was completely full which was why it was in my computer because I was transferring it um, you know transferring the files and I dropped it and it broke so I lost all that footage and then to make a sad story like a tragic story <laughs> um, in the process of trying to like back up to see like which files um you know I still had because I was trying to see which files that I actually lo um were lost I corrupted my um my passport um storage unit which has 3 terabytes of data on there and completely lost all of that so yeah that's what i'm dealing with over here but we are going to keep it moving i um i went to best buy last night oh and that was that was um the craziest thing went to best buy last night and i was going to buy me another um another memory card so like the best buy from my house is probably like 12 13 miles so it's not like right up the street well it's a, it's a straight shot but you know it take you a little bit of time to get there like 20 minutes so um i drove there i stood in this long line swiped my card and then the card was declined and i'm asking the lady i'm like what's going on i was like i know my card is good and uh she had like the nastiest of attitudes and um i was just like you know what you can keep it <laughs> um you keep that card and i went somewhere else and used my card fine and didn't have that problem and um yeah i let them keep their stuff like i don't have time for foolishness like that <laughs> Like, I can accept a lot, but bad customer service is just one of the things I don't accept. So, um, this uh, little flip book is like a one-pager. And as you can see, it has a lot of different pockets and a lot of different cool stuff on there. And I am going to create a flip book with this. Now, I've used this before, this cut file before, to make an album. And I'm going to show you the album that I made. with. So this is the album that I made. And this was for um, Mackenzie. <laughs> this is the Wild About Mackenzie album. A little mini album I made with a bunch of little uh, jungle animals. And you can see the full video of me making this. But I think this is like photos from her from like birth through three or four months. So this is like how this will look. Well, this is how this could look when it's finished. This is not quite the look I'm going for this time. Um, as you see, I did some stitching, some writing. I did a little bit of everything on there. And then a little shaker card and everything, and all this pops open. So that's, that's to give you an idea of how this cut file can look. 
but that's not what I am doing with it today. Today I figured this will make a really cool flip book. And so, um, not only just a flip book, but you know how you have like all these different like straps of paper like this. <laughs> I'm going to try to like use it in my stash and just let it be like a complete collection of like different papers and just see where it goes. So that is what I plan on doing with this. But I was going to show you guys today uh, the setup for this, like some of the different things you can do with it. So I'm going to grab some score tape and get to sticking everything together. And then I'll be posting pictures of it on Instagram of how like the finished product will look. Today I'm just really focusing on um, getting all the pieces in there and getting everything folded up. Getting everything secure. So, yeah. My tape isn't sticking. So as a question from uh, well, from one YouTube video maker <laughs> or crafter to another one, how do you guys back up your videos? What are you saving your videos on? Or like, are y'all using a cloud? Like, how do you back up your stuff? Because I need a better system. I was using an external hard drive, but... I ran into the case where my backup was corrupted and you know video files are so big you can't really store them on your like regular computers so what do you guys do and this is going to be a shaker pocket and let's see can I is there a way for me to cut this without this being upside down? I don't think it is. Let's see. Hmm. So I probably have to use like a die cut. Or do something else. I think I might do something else with it. Just use a circle. <laughs> no, I don't want to use a circle. I have another punch. Yeah, let's see if this will work. And it will. Get out the way, little thing. There we go. And it's so off centered. <laughs> We'll make it work. <laughs> it's like so hard to line that up. So the next part in this is just going to be going through my stash. And what I'm going to do is make um, a lot of these like little pockets. Like I want... Um, like mostly pretty much everything. I'm going to make this a pocket and um, I can show you. Well, I already made that a pocket. I'll make this side a pocket. Let's see, how can we do that? And that might be cute. Yeah, we'll make this side a pocket right here. So it's kind of cool how you can take like these designs and like recreate them to be something that you want to, you know, change it a little bit. Cause although this was meant to be a photo album, it's going to be a flip book now with just little trinkets in there. Like I might do like little stamped images and maybe like little samples of washi tape on little tags, little die cut pieces 
And it's also a good place to use those little like square cut aparts. Those will look nice in that. So we have this pocket here. And then this will fold down. And it kind of creates like a layered effect. When I put the the different papers on there, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So that's that side. So loving it. And then this will fold in. This will be like some sort of shaker pocket. And then we have like a pocket here. And let's see. I think I would like to make this a pocket as well. It's kind of long. Let's see. And of course we have the Chloe in here who loves to come in while I'm working. <laughs> Y'all should be used to her by now. Whenever she hears me um, like talking to the camera, she is like, I want to come in. I guess to her, it's kind of peculiar, it, you know, usually if I'm talking, I'm talking to someone. But to just see your human sitting somewhere talking, I bet it is kind of weird. I wonder what our adults think about us. <laughs> Some of the things that we do. So I am just going to cut this at a slant. And that'll be another little pocket. Kind of like those like folder sleeves. What's wrong, Chloe? You don't want me to record? You wanna sit in my lap, don't you? You don't like it when mama works? Oh. <laughs> All right, and there we go. This is our mini flip book. Remember, like once I put the shaker bits, this will be completely closed and then it'll everything will fold into each other. There we go. And my machine seemed to have left off two of the little scoring parts. I must have hit the wrong thing, but I can do that myself. I'm just gonna put where I want the line. And my ruler is gone. Chloe, did you steal my ruler? <laughs> If you don't have a scoring tool, this is one way you can um, score your paper if you don't have a scoring board. So this will be the little flip book that I send out. And I can't wait to decorate it. I am going to decorate it Easter theme. So I'll be using this stamp set. This stamp set came with the um, Simon Says Stamp um, March card kit. And I, I'm working to get that video um up is actually uh, one of the three videos that I was able to recover. <laughs> I still had it on my um, 
one of my other memory cards because I have I have about four or five memory cards but the main one that I used was the one that I broke in half tear I was like I told Chris I need to like get like a little box and like officially have a funeral for this thing because <laughs> I really feel like I lost something <laughs> He was like, yesterday, he was like, man, you don't had it rough. We got to get you a win. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So that's what I've been up to this week. And this is my Cricut project. Be sure to go and check out some of the other ladies and see what they have posted this week. This is our last week in the collaboration. And you guys, I am... Like, kind of bumped about it. Like, I have really enjoyed um, creating projects with these ladies. They are very, very talented. Be sure to go check them out and support their channels. All the links are in the description below. Um, Jamie, uh, or AKA Poet Spice, thank you so much for organizing this and taking the time to pull us all together to encourage us to use our Cricut machines a little bit more because you know you guys know sometimes we as crafters can buy stuff and it collects dust at least I know I'm guilty of that uh, <laughs> but that's not a good thing so yeah that is it for me today um, for this project I will try to get some of those um, those videos that I could find try to get those up and running so I can get this channel back on target <laughs> You guys know, like, I try to keep everything running smooth. Oh, and I should have added some, a little bit of tape there. So we can always go back and do that. I just noticed that. There we go. There. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and definitely go check out um, these uh, cut file and check out the video. She made an um, a album out of hers, and it is just totally beautiful. That's it for me today, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.